let's finish this uh, case here about the Milan Kuchani's theft. Yeah, for that matter, I'm just gonna go and uh, Dominican Republic, La Repubblica Dominicana. Haiti, hate, yes, hate, Haiti and Dominican Republic, right here, somewhere in Caribbean, there is a Haiti and Dominican Republic. Uh, basically, they call this during MK Ultra like a triangle between Miami, Dominican Republic, and Slovenia. Slovenia! Uh, it looks like this between the Haiti, Slovenia and the Dominican Republic the crime was brokered like this you know, they have, uh, there is somewhere here is a Bermuda tri Triangle I'm gonna get to that uh, but this triangle of crime was something else, something completely different. I'm quite disappointed actually with this that I landed in a scumbaggery like this as much as I was trying to stay away from one, escape this scumbaggery and got myself found, found truly a gates to hell. What I can tell you about the Haiti or Dominican Republic is for the following I can tell you. The theft of the coins was completed by Robert Golob already in 1995 if not in 1996. The most valuable coins was stolen uh, from my ex-wife if they were stolen supposedly they were stolen already in 95 and 96 why the fuck am I saying this kind of stuff uh, because I am saying this kind of stuff because the Dominican Republic I'm not gonna even go and talk about the Haiti hate was served to Milan Kuchan as uh, a Negro violence hotspot. This is where Milan Kuchan was buying a Negro violence. Milan Kuchan, a supporter, a leader of NOB, National Liberation Front, this here uh, partisans partisani this here uh, wanted to make a strong case against me as someone who belongs to a neo-nazi movement because Milan Kuchon was completely ran over and ousted to participate anywhere in a newly established independent Slovenia beginning 1991. However, uh, because of the Slovenian people, Milan Kuchan remained at his... Uh, I'm not going to say that he remained it's quite insane because this is the most insanest thing ever because Slovenia became independent because Slovenia rejected Milan Kuchan. Slovenia ousted Milan Kuchan from the politics. They wanted to have them banished. But the, 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 the thing is, they elected him as a president. So it's the most controversial and it doesn't even matter of course that he have stolen elections uh, even executed one of the presidential candidates 
But this kind of stuff, supposedly he did. We don't even know about that stuff, really, from my perspective. Uh, became elected as a new president of Slovenia. I mean, bizarre from the point of view of other people. Uh, from abroad, they observed this. Uh, the most bizarre stuff ever that possibly could happen in any country in the world. Nothing like this that you would be trying to escape from uh, Soviet, Yugoslav uh, execution system and then elected, appointed yourself when you, once you save yourself as a president of the country, somebody who was just... Um, at the top of this execution list of the people that would do the stuff, KGB stuff, if in terms of Yugoslav, Udba, Ozna, whatever you want to call this. Uh, this Dominican Republic is what Milan Kuchan used to spread the hatred. And this is basically why I stated to use the term Negro. Milan Kuchan, the only way for Milan Kuchan to remain visible on a political stage was what basically creating Nazis, in my case, literally out of the family, who on both sides of the family have fought against the Nazism, against the fascism, risking their lives on a daily basis were actually selected even on my father's side to depart to Auschwitz. Already listed at the train station literally to be carried away to concentration camp, to the German concentration camp. And so niggers do what Ara can't, what Ara cannot, and Milan Kuchon got from the niggers for less than anywhere in the world, talking about the hatred. This served to Milan Kuchan in the same way like, I suppose, Guantanamo used, served Americans on Cuba, like a Guantanamo base where they actively engaged in a physical torture. And so a Dominican Republic became... Uh, a hot bath for a torture. Milan Kuchan had many bases throughout the world where he would go and spread the news, a good news, and Dominican Republic was just one. This is basically where they got to engage in the physical torture as much as they wanted. And so in 1995, in 1996, Yeah, it got a whole a lot to do with Miami. Milan Kuchan started to throw the money away to understand what kind of money this was. Uh, we have to go to Slovenian independence time. Uh, this will go to nineteen ninety one, and in this took December nineteen ninety 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 one. Milan Kuchan, as soon as Slovenia became independent, at the biggest disgrace and sorrow and sadness of Milan Kuchan. Danilo Turk. Uh, Milan Kuchan had Danilo Turk specially ransack uh, Slovenian banks. He sent Udba people literally with revolvers to Slovenian banking system uh, when I say revolvers, uh, well, you, whether you give the fucking money 
whether you release the money or yeah you are you'll be better dead than remaining alive and they did kill people actively if they did not collaborate with whatever with the Milan Kurchan and so before the Slovenia would even get the official figures together Milan Kurchan ransacked banks from Štajerska all the way to Primorska he had his people going inside of the banks and have stolen every cent every penny that was in like we say in Slovenia Drujbena Lastnina uh, something that was inherited either from times of Yugoslavia, uh, from Slovenian companies, whatever they would uh, use their saving accounts. Uh, all the money from society, because this used to be a socialist, so-called socialist state, communist state. Uh, Milan Kuchan went before the revisors. Uh, would even start to count the money and see how much money is uh, on the funds that is left. So uh, right here we are talking about probably stolen from the banking accounts maybe for about one billion and a half dollars of the money. The money afterwards disappeared and was invested to Asia. All the money was withdrawn, the money started to fly to China and to the India through uh, special funds, uh, completely in the hands of Milan Kuchan. Uh, Danilo Turk, I mentioned him because Danilo Turk was specialized in ransacking Slovenian banking system. Danilo Turk classically would come in your bank, let's say Ljubljanska banka, NLB and would ask you uh, director pull him on the site and director would get a bank in the revisor or whatever and they would have to go over all the accounts including the hidden accounts the accounts where on the side the money was stored collect the money from entire Slovenia wherever was capable to steal before the new government would start to count the money and invest into companies in India and in China. Uh, I did spoke about that stuff already when it comes to uh, Andrianic. Uh, that's uh, Boris Andrianic was the founder of Kirka Pharmaceutical, semi-founder, and his son Misho Andrianic did something very similar afterwards also using me just like his grandfather was using me to create the Kirka pharmaceutical company um, in 2016 Milan Kuchan appointed Natasha Pirtz Musar to become somebody who would negotiate even the issue which I stated for which Milan Kuchan to his National Liberation Front supporters NNOB this year. Zveza Združen Borco za whatever you want to call this. I do not see myself in this, not even a little bit. Uh, it's as such a humiliation that I endured that I do not believe in these people. I do believe in a cause, you understand me? I do believe in a cause, but I don't believe in these people even a little bit. So that's why I stated I don't see myself in this, not even a little bit. I don't recognize them as legitimate. I recognize, I see them as hijackers, as a terrorists of something that doesn't even belong to them. By following a profit, a fake profit that took the whole cost to the to the dust, destroyed the whole movement. Uh, turn one literally into a terrorist organization. Use Natasha Pierce Musa to start to negotiate about how much money 
through the funds, through the investments were made truly in a part of Asia and came up through Natasha Pierce Musser with a conspiracy theory which Natasha Pierce Musser, this is a new Slovenian president called Natasha Pierce Musser, uh, this lady here that you see and uh, selected her to become a new Slovenian president and demanded from me to participate brainwash which suggested that Milan Kuchan at most have made about 300 million euros altogether since Slovenian independence that is basically I don't know in 26 years that it was all they make together it was 20 it was 300 million dollars and it, this is interesting because they insisted and incited that this was actually even my money or half of the money uh, the money that was used to invest and that kind of stuff now uh, what this got to do with the Dominican Republic with the Negro, with the Negro hate club well everything the Dominion the Dominican government we are not talking about here private individuals or anything like this but we are talking about Dominican state the a Republic whatever you want to call it um, agreed to broker crime against me for the sake of the money uh, Milan Kuchan had Robert Golop insist me after a theft took a really 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 wrong turn theft of these coins these golden coins took a very very wrong turn as Milan Kuchan appeared together with Zoran Jankovic inside of Ljubljana the jewelers were simply spooked alarmed and then there was somebody else who also observed the crime and that was Slovenian intelligence, the so-called SOVA observed what Milan Kuchan started to see, steal literally money, coins from overseas uh, became alarmed and Robert Golob with Gregor Golovic what they did was the first thing what they did was they went ahead and they have stolen the most valuable golden coins from my wife they truly have stolen them the most valuable coins were stolen at the time in Ljubljana these coins were, were uh, evaluated to about 500,000 euros these coins were stolen and after these coins were stolen Robert Golob started to instigate at the Dominican Republic that they will have to do something also for my wife uh, and uh, even further that it could be the Dominican Republic that would help me out so I'm sure that you understand and not to help me out but that I should help out the Dominican Republic it's like somebody would go like on a hatred spree and would do his best basically to spread like war or something like a massacre or something like this like a total bloodshed I'm sure you understand that somebody like myself would want nothing more than one day to return to Haiti and basically kill the cats and dogs together with their owners and with their children I'm sure you understand what Dominican Republic Robert Golob National Liberation Front NOB of Slovenia was cooking I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about and so he started to push for the hell of it through the torture through the Guantanamo like torture the idea that I would be the one who would eventually even reward financially Frank from Dominican Republic that was a son from the building manager of Maritza Vasquez I don't know what the name is of 
the husband, but a Tony, his name was Tony Vasquez. I don't know if the gentleman is still alive. Um, I don't know if the gentleman is still alive, uh, but that was his son I understand that was his son and um, that was his son and uh, worked inside of this building just like his father as a as a, as a maintenance man as a, uh, as a janitor all right. Uh, his father was a maintenance man, and he and and uh, and Frank was uh, was uh, was a janitor. Uh, they lived like a family. Um, I don't really have a complaints against. Uh, I don't actually. I even like these ladies. Okay, they had two daughters and uh, and mom. Uh, they were not bad people. I don't. I didn't see them as bad people. Frank was violent uh, father also was violent when it all started in 95 when I immigrated to Miami and then the bright here and Robert Golob uh, Golobich appeared here they started to literally inside them in directly into the violence by creating racial uh, ethnic hatred inside of this building against me and encouraged Frank to engage in violence against me during MK Ultra sessions together with his father. His father, however, was uh, no longer interested in it. Um, I don't know and I would not say that the father would be uh, an individual that would that would go and do the theft. Uh, I think, in my opinion, that he was quite uh, a person that uh, would not go and do the stuff like this. At least, I didn't get impression that father would go and that th this this was not some kind of a, a a bad person or something like this. It was just working person there, and uh, you know, he's he lived his life basically, uh, his culture, and uh, you know that's respectful. I, I didn't I didn't see anything that I would that it would, uh, you know, other than political stuff that he tried to sicken with and what started in 95, in 96, 97, 98, um, it went to 99. Um, I, I didn't really, uh, a father stopped with incitement into hatred sometimes like in 97 I would say uh, Frank uh, had a problem or, or they stopped them I don't know uh, Frank did have a problem with it and it became evident that Frank was involved in something more dirty that his father Tony did not know about and that's a theft of those coins which American Central Intelligence Agency with the Federal Bureau uh, learned about, step on his toes, step on the toes of the family and became completely evident that Frank will have to in fact disappear from the picture because of the theft of the coins which already occurred. Those coins are already gone. 95, 96, 95 probably, Milan Kuchan already had theft of the coins completed. Um, they now had to complete the transaction in a such a way so that all the parties would be calmed uh, and yeah, uh, torture went on actively at Dominican Republic and they started to propose the most disgusting uh, demanded from me actually to reward the people who tortured Dominican government literally with uh, additional funds demanding that from the fund for which I earlier suggested for Natasha Pirtz Musser I uh, got assignment uh, to claim uh, she, she, she incited me in a thinking of that I will have to catch some 
like she acted like IRS, like somebody who is actually will bust Milan Kuchan for $300 million, something that Milan Kuchan already reported to his own Zveza Borcu Slovenia, and had nothing to do with reality, where they even saluted him that he did the right thing by doing this kind of stuff. Uh, a terrorist, a terrorism terrorist organization is NOB in Slovenia. That's not a legitimate organization representing the people or values, I should say. I'm not going to say the people, but the values of the World War II national resistance. It's got nothing to do in common. And it actually places with its behavior under the question, Slovenian resistance during the World War II Per whether it was even legitimate because of the way this stuff is done today. And it was done all along. Instead of 300 million, uh, this number could well be about 30 billion dollars and up. 30 from fifth to fifth up to even maybe perhaps 50 billion dollars might be the real figures of what Milan Kuchan managed to pile up when it comes to financial wealth in China and in India. Uh, this is unreported money anyways. You can't go wrong with this one. Either way you do it. Stolen from the Slovenian national banking system. Uh, this here, this issue here with this Dominican Republic that I supposed to award literally for the torture. This is what sometimes makes me think whether this Milan Kuchan is a neo-Nazi or is this guy insane or is this guy a gangster, a thug, a criminal, like completely rotten scumbag, filth back. I don't know. I don't understand sometimes. You don't know, but many times, pretty much all the time is on my mind. I can't figure out who the fuck this guy really is. Because, you know, you wouldn't be doing this kind would you be doing this kind of stuff if you were serious about the World War II resistance values? You wouldn't be doing this to somebody like this for sure. Unless you're completely insane or you're a neo Nazi yourself or you know if you if you see money in it and money was in it, because Milan Kuchan returned to the Slovenian power as a president because of my case, demonstrating a teaching not only Dominican but Slovenian people on how to engage in torture so they could see themselves in a World War II values. Um, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Robert Golob was the one who demanded from me uh, to agree that part of the money that was truly was stolen from the Slovenian banking system. However, I also heard that there was some money for which Loise Peterle, Dmitry Rupel, Boucher, Igor Boucher, Janez Janša instigated that it was some money, some funds that would go into uh, literally my pocket that was in my name they took and that this will be the money one day I will get this is my money and I don't know what the fuck yeah, I, I didn't see any of that money uh, and that's the money Robert Golob insisted and insisted that I have to agree and pay to the Dominican Republic people so that they will have the money in Dominican Republic it was a little bit hard for me because I was meeting dead ends in 95, I was just trying to survive with Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau Investigation, who even bet that Milan Kuchan would get me killed before I would manage to file for the residence in, uh, before I would even get a green card in United States of America. Could you believe this? Uh, I was, I spent more time in Slovenia, perhaps, tortured. I don't, it was a zoo, torture at home for elderly people, torture at 
inside of this home in, in Slovenia, torture, hiking, uh, torture in, in other countries, in other locations, in other terror cells they created throughout the world, including Russia, Belarus, Serbia. It was the most rapid way for Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau, to spread throughout the globe including through the Russia and China and Serbia and Belarus, wherever they had dictators and prohibited systems, uh, through this kind of system, through the so-called neo-Nazi system, they spread like a wildfire using literally their own leaderships, leaders to spread to any dot, any corner around the world. Once the theft of the most expensive coins was completed, in 1995, it was not even 1996, uh, it was just a, a matter of technicality on how to rationalize, how to apologize, how to justify the theft. And so the way they did that stuff, so the most expensive coins were stolen in 95. My wife had these coins, for which she was really, really careless. Uh, this coin simply sitting inside of the apartment. Uh, neither she gave a fuck about them, nor I gave a fuck about them. I wouldn't touch something that wasn't mine when it comes to money and issues like this for the fuck of it. If you would cut me fingers, head, whatever, I would not touch any of it. And so it was. They sit it right there. I didn't want to know about it. And she didn't mind cared enough to literally place them on a safe place uh, and even if she would I think it was a smart thing that she didn't uh, what the fuck uh, the most valuable coins were stolen immediately something to Milan Kuchan even referred to as if I wouldn't have done it somebody else would have done it If you go and you're going to store whatever you have left to some place, you are actually erasing the trace of crime. That's why I said, I'm glad she hasn't done that. Now, it was a matter of technicality. And a technicality was brokered by, again, the most devoted, closest to Milan Kuchan associate, whom Milan Kuchan selected to be his inheritor, a uh, political inheritor, a broker, crime broker that was uh, like a dirty stuff done uh, that was uh, Robert Golob that was by this guy here so the way he brokered this Haiti uh, this epicenter of the hatred in located in the Caribbean because there was no nobody was more sick than Haiti in Dominican Republic when it came to racism I don't know which one of the two but the two were totally totally insane when it came to racism issues he brokered this crime in a such a way so that he would rest of the coins stolen they were stolen but before they were stolen he brokered such a crime to which i even testified negotiations that once the frank would disappear from miami uh it would be a money he they through whatever company would deposit on to whatever company in Dominican Republic uh, and through this money through this company whatever this money would go through in whatever part of Dominican Republic Frank who would disappear file for that fake death certificate that's what they would issue to him would become entitled to one together with his I was told even Miami family now I'm talking about again Maritza Vasquez and Tony Vasquez, the family. 
So I anticipate these people became quite wealthy at Dominican Republic. Um, whatever the case might be, whichever way they brokered this money or brokered the money, this is what negotiation was between the uh, government of Dominican Republic and, well, you know, he is a prime minister today in Slovenia. You may call this a mafia, Slovenian mafia, or whatever it is. The initiator of this crime was Milan Kuchan, his closest partner. That's a Zoran Jankovic. He was the one who went completely crazy about this. He was the one who wanted. I think he is laughing a little bit too much. I think that people who laugh too much, as a matter of fact, people who do too much of something are faking it. It's not about the laughter. Laughter is nice, but I think it's like a little bit over. So, and this is the whole story about uh, the coins, uh, the entire police report about the coins, about basically what went on. No, I didn't have anything. Oh, I didn't have nothing against the Haiti against the Dominican Republic but Slovenian police which did its best to get me killed uh, somehow it appears did not manage to kill me because whenever they would take me to Dominican Republic where the hatred continued to grow it became uh, so nice that we would have during MK Ultra walking walks hiking, uh, people ungoingly coming with uh, revolvers for a visit with the idea to get me killed at all the costs, uh, that it was prohibited to Slovenian police as the word it spread to the CIA, to the Federal Bureau investigation from further visiting Dominican Republic. Beginning, I think, in 2002, for the longest period of time that we no longer would go and visit any country around the world. It was what, about five or six years. That was the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Uh, not, maybe not even Haiti, but Dominican Republic, absolutely. This uh, violence, this Negro violence that nobody dares to talk about. Nobody dares to talk about black Klux Klux Klan. Nobody dares to talk about the black Nazism, about the black fascism, about the black hatred. Eventually reached such heights that it was for the millimeters away that I wasn't executed in front of this police at the Haiti. So this is the account about... Uh, I, I was not the one... <laughs> who had the racial problems or anything like that. In 1999 just happened, so there was just like a Frank, I don't know how you say, Mestizo or whatever lady, uh, Mulata lady uh, from Miami, whom I wanted to marry. I was not the one. I, I interacted with these people uh, she was a Dominican also, just like, you know, I was not the one who had problems with it. And that, that probably was the biggest problem. And at the time, I was married to the lady from the South America. Her name was a Teresa Baquero. She was a pure Indian, a pure as it gets. Uh, it was somebody else who had all these problems. Uh, with some other people, really, they managed to find in other part of the world so they could create this Vladimir Putin is you know um, now as you know Vladimir Putin based its his entire agenda his entire political agenda he bet he everywhere in Europe it's a Nazi in Ukraine it's a Nazi uh, in Baltic state, it's a Nazi. Uh, they had Nazis in, in Russia, but I remember uh, one guy, uh, his name is a Tisak, 
who was a real Nazi. A real Nazi. And imagine there was Vladimir Putin who personally proceeded, went ahead and saved him from being destroyed. He made sure they wouldn't even, that even he would rescue himself who was a real Nazi. Uh, by uh, involving one in crime against me, literally by having one watch my case and convince him that in fact was a victim of exactly the same kind of crime, of MK Ultra crime, and uh, is in his best interest to simply disappear. So I don't know what happened with the uh, with uh, with the Tisak. Uh, I don't know what happened with this guy here, but um, uh, Putin was doing his best personally to convince him that's not worth it. Uh, you know how nice. What the fuck can I say when considering that Ukraine is Nazi, a Baltic states are Nazi, and I alone have even fallen for that kind of shit because I didn't like this kind of stuff anyways. Uh, without realizing just how much part of this hate politics, Soviet post World War II politic based on which just like a Milan Kuchan Vladimir Putin have built his entire political career uh, for the sake of the war on Ukraine, for the sake of the war on Baltic states, for the sake of the war of all other countries in the area. So that's all I gotta say. Thanks very much for watching this. Uh, I don't do here uh, a political talk. I don't do here. I go straight to the business to explain exactly what went on. I never seen Haiti, Haiti, uh, Haiti. I, ne I have never seen Haiti as 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 a Haiti, but today I do see Haiti as as a hate, as a Haiti. Today and from now on, I'm going to see Dominican Republic in a completely different way than I did in the past. Sorry to waste more words on this stuff. Um, oh, the most important part is that Milan Kuchan Zoran Yankovic uh, demanded from me upon engaging in a torture. So I have to tell you how the transaction ended. The transaction ended in exactly the same way as to what Natasha Pierce Musar wanted to end with my revelation of how much Milan Kuchan have stolen from Slovenia, 300 million dollars. Um, in exactly the same way, in exactly the same way, by, after series of violent MK Ultra procedures, uh, torture went on for about maybe two years, intensified crazy stuff went on, and then inside of our house, even I had to declare after several times, I had to declare to one, how much do I think it was stolen? And that would be the amount of money that they supposedly paid out to uh, my ex-wife, Teresa Baquero, uh, who had to agree with it, uh, who... Um, uh, I, I heard that she was set aside, that she was happy with it, etc., etc., etc. Just like this, uh, I was told about how much do I think it, the coins were worth, but not before I would get brainwashed. Uh, I was told those coins were worth five thousand dollars, and I was told when I'm going to be asking inside of our house how much they worth, ten thousand dollars. And that's exactly what I did, $10,000. And supposedly this Teresa Baccaro got paid $10,000 in cash from the Slovenian government, uh, whatever crime associates. I knew nothing about any of this stuff. And uh, I guess that this completed a transaction for uh, Teresa Baccaro. 
uh, my ex-wife from Ecuador. Uh, money I knew nothing about, absolutely, about all this crime. Uh, she was very, very careful about how she deal behind my back uh, to get her deals done in a way that will fit her the best, the most. So uh, this was a transaction, the friendship between her then and Milan Kuchan. That's basically how it ended with what I was told that Slovenian people are, are ladrones, uh, uh, thieves. Uh, and all kinds of other issues. Uh, she was a piece of work asking me about where the life went. It reminded me of M.K. Adrian in the most sadistic ways just as ordered by Milan Kuchan uh, to perform like sadistic stuff, ask sadistic questions. Uh, in a way, she was like this. In a way, she was like that. Uh, they all guaranteed me that they will get their money back and stuff like this. And so the only thing I can do for all of them is I can do a police report like this. It probably were worth over half a million dollars for sure in 1995. And then uh, the value of these coins drastically have fallen almost into nothing, as I explained on the video. That's how Milan Kuchan, on the camera, on video camera, even recorded me saying $10,000. Know, that, that's, that's a real Milan Kuchan. That's how the Milan Kuchan wants to have the world. So wealthy people are thieves. They're thugs. They're robbers, literally. And they do so because... A regular person doesn't dare to even think about stuff like this. And their mainstream media is part of this thuggery, theft. They pay them, basically. It works for one another. It's, it's what we call a symbiosis. They are dependent on one another, like a parasite. And the main parasite was Kuchan that sucked himself on a Slovenian taxpayers. And then it was all this crime that twisted around loaded itself around to parasites on him, basically. This is the way it goes.